Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be going through another Griffin commission that I just finished, so stay tuned. So first off, I'm starting with some Lumiere paint by Jacquard in Sunset Gold and Highlight Violet. And this paint is going to be for the eyes. So uh, the customer wanted a kind of golden eye and I didn't want it too dark, um, just because uh, I've done a lot of dark gold eyes before, so I wanted to keep this one a bit light. So that's the first thing I'm going to start off doing today is painting the eyeballs and I'm painting it onto a resin cast of a sculpture that I have made. And a resin cast is just something that uh, is kind of like a plastic and uh, you sculpt something, mold it in silicon and cast it in resin. And it's a lot lighter than clay so another reason why I don't use clay for my dolls. So I'm going to be painting the beak now and I'm using a cool yellow uh, in chroma cruel acrylic paint and I'm going to be adding uh, some warm yellow to the tip of the beak as well. So just adding that uh, vibrant yellow and uh, waiting it for, for it to dry and then I'll go in with that warm yellow and add some highlights on the end of it. So the customer wanted um, the griffin to sort of look like a bald eagle so that's uh, the reference pictures that I went off. And I have uh, primed my resin piece so uh, the paint actually adheres to it and I just use a regular white paint that has a good tooth on it um, just so it has something to stick to. Okay, now going in with that darker warm yellow and um, I'll be adding a few coats of uh, this paint just because I want uh, the, the blending to be a little bit nicer and a bit uh, more vibrant as well. So wait for it to dry before adding any more colour to that, otherwise it just ends up kind of mixing in uh, to the paint below. And I decided uh, that I'd add just a little bit of orange to the end of it as well, um, just so it has a bit more of a nice blend. And moving on to the pupil area, and I've shown it in a lot of my videos, just painting in with that black chrome acrylic, acrylic paint using a dry brush technique, and that way you can feather out the edges of the pupil. And also filling in the little nostril area in the same black, and most of the head is just going to stay white, so um, you just have to be a little bit careful where you put the black paint because it's a bit difficult to get off once it's on there. Um, you can paint over it, uh, but sometimes it comes through the paint, so it's just better to be a bit more careful. So you slip there, but ah! um, but yeah, just be a bit more careful. That's what we've got so far. Moving on to, um, I decided to put some black around the eyeballs because I didn't like how uh, the white was just keeping it a bit subtle. Uh, so I wanted the black to sort of stand out a little bit and bring out the eyes a bit more. So um, yeah, I decided to put some black around the eyeballs. And then I decided to put um, some yellow around the eyes as well, just because um, if you look at a bald eagle, it does actually have a little bit of yellow around the eyes. So I wanted to add that too, just for something a bit different. So just blending in um, some more of that black chrome quill paint and it is quite watered down so I didn't take over the white too much. And so here's that uh, yellow um, highlight that I'm putting on now. I thought it'd add really good depth and something totally different to uh, the griffin's face so um, yeah I think it looks really good. So after I finished the paint job, the customer uh, put in another request to um, add some ears. So I'm using epoxy sculpt and it's a poo, two part poo. <laughs> it's, 
it's a two-part uh, mixing um, epoxy and you just to mix two equal parts together and um, it says on the label to wear some gloves so you're just better off wearing gloves because things can be toxic and irritate your skin so once I have mixed it together it seems to only say on the packet um, that you wear gloves while mixing so meh um, anyway so I'm just adding the ears to the ends of the head of the griffin and you want to make sure you have equal parts uh, so it doesn't look um, awkward and uh, odd and just stay symmetrical and so you want to keep an eye on where the ears are placed and turn it around and see at every angle whether it's um, the right size, the right spacing and the right placement. And here's what we've got. It is grey, but I, once it's dry, I will paint it with white so it blends in a bit better. And you just leave it for 24 hours to fully dry. Moving on to the claws, and this is another resin piece that I have sculpted, moulded and cast in resin. And I'm using that same cool yellow as I did with the beak. And I'm just going around and painting the whole foot uh, this yellow colour to begin with. And then I'll go over and add some more colours and highlights and stuff. So I'm using that warm yellow for a wash over that cool yellow. Uh, I wanted it to go into all of the little crevices of the scales and stuff. So um, yeah, loading it up. Uh, so I ended up not using so much water uh, just because I wanted it a bit more vibrant. Man, come here, me. I did, man. Let it done, man. They can dig down mine when I do some more. Listen to that. Well, I don't do no more. Don't listen, you know, don't listen to what I ain't doing, man. What I ain't doing is abominable, man. I'd be doing bunches of D-O-P-E and acting C-O-A-Z-Y and all those stuff. You so I decided to go in a little bit with uh, that raw umber just to make it a bit more dirty because um, if you look at eagle feet, they're not exactly pristine and clean. They're a little bit brown um, around the underbelly area and the claw area so uh, yeah just adding a bit of dirt to the claws here and you can see how much better they look after some color moving on to the claws and I decided to go with black um, so using that same chrome acrylic paint that I use for everything else just going in and painting uh, the nails black it's kind of satisfying watching them uh, watching the color come over the white I don't know why but I think I could watch it all day <laughs> can't forget the little feeties at the back and I'm using um, just some cat feet that I have also cast in resin and just painting the bottom of the pads a uh, black colour. Right so this is the fur that I'm going to be using it is a thick pile uh, medium length uh, faux fur uh, it's going to be all brown with uh, the head um, white like a bald eagle and you can see that I've drawn the patterns down as well uh, this time I haven't included the neck area because it's going to be in white um, but just cutting it out just cutting the backing only remember and um, using a small pair of scissors which gives you better control so here's what it's going to look like with um, the white on it's the same pile um, length as well so it works really well So once I've cut the pieces out, I'll pin them up and run them through the sewing machine and then we have uh, the body 
all inside out and you need to turn it inside out again to get the fur back. So just gone around the edges and left the bite open. But for some things you will have to sew by hand just because they're too small to um, flip inside out and it will end up just being too much of a hassle rather than um, just hand sewing it in the first place. So this uh, bit will be the tail and I'm just ladder stitching the whole thing up. So once everything's ready to go, I make an armature out of either a ball socket, a uh, plastic ball socket, or a wire frame. So this particular one has a wire frame. And once the frame's inserted into the body, I attach the pieces, the resin pieces, and then I will hand sew everything up from there using the same ladder stitch. And once I have sewn all that up, I'll then use a tacky fabric glue to stick the faux fur pieces to the resin. So I'll just give you a quick look at the halfway point of the wings and you can see I've attached all of the feathers. Um, they are cruelty free sourced um, and here's the final result once everything's put together. What do you guys think? that's it for me today guys if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have any requests leave it in the comments down below you can also check me out on instagram and facebook at creatures of net and i'll see you in the next one bye bye when i do some more listen to that well i don't do no more don't listen you know don't listen to what i ain't doing man what i ain't doing is abominable man i'll be doing bunches of d-o-p-e and acting c-o-a-z-y and all those stuff that you can't talk about on the air